Welcome to the eighth match of the 2023 Haikyuu season. Hi everyone, I'm Bob Grip. I'm your quiz master. Today's match features students from Satsuma, Murphy, and LaFleur. Okay, the questions you're going to hear this morning are prepared by educators throughout the country who are all experts in their fields. They try to make the questions equally challenging. So here's how the points are awarded once again. In a regular category, you'll receive your own question in that area. You'll then have 15 seconds and four opportunities to answer. Each time an incorrect answer is given, it's worth one less point. And if a team misses it entirely, either of the other two teams can gain one point with a correct answer, and I'll explain some of the other scoring as we go on. Time to begin our competition. We always start with some questions in current events. First question goes to our home team, which is LaFleur in this case. Good luck. She was often referred to as an icon of professional journalism. She created the television show, The View. Give me her first and last name. Whoopi Goldberg. Try again. Okay, Murphy or Satsuma, buzz in. Satsuma. Barbara Walters. Yes, Barbara Walters is right for one point. Murphy, your question. Give me the name of the most popular course at Yale University. Law. Try again. The orchestra. Try again. Architecture. Satsuma. Psychology and the good life. No, LaFleur. Politics. No. It's called The Science of Happiness oh. is the name of the most popular course. Satsuma. Novelist Anne Rice's Mayfair Witches takes place in what American city? New Orleans. New Orleans is right. Four points. Very good. American history. To the floor now. Give the last name of the financial giant who made a legendary reputation for himself by financing the reorganization of railroads, insurance companies, and banks. Rockefeller. Try again. Williams. Try again. Black. Try again. Murphy. J.P. Morgan. J.P. Morgan is right. Very good. One point for Murphy. Murphy, here's your question. Give the name of the organization established in the United States before the Civil War, which combined physical and other kinds of education with religious education for Christian men and women. Christian Education Organization. Try again. Good Fellow Organization. Try again. Anybody buzz in? No. Uh, Satsuma. Liberal protest. No. The floor. Liberal organization. No. The YMCA or the YWCA, the Young Women's, Young Men's or Women's Christian Association. Satsuma. Give the name of the Act of 1887 which extended the Morrill Act of 1862 and provided federal funding for the establishment of agricultural experiment stations in connection with the land-grant colleges. The Hatch Act? Correct. Four yeah. points. Right. The Hatch Act. Very good. Biology. To the floor. Identify the cardiovascular disease caused by an accumulation of fatty materials, abnormal amounts of smooth muscle, Deposits of cholesterol or fibrin and other cellular debris within the arteries. Diabetes. Try again. Colon cancer. Try again. Heart disease. Try again. Satsuma. Atherosclerosis. Correct. Very good. One point for Satsuma. Murphy. Name the group of animals with no body cavity, including sponges, jellyfish, and flatworms. Five 
five seconds. Nope. Satsuma. Coleopods. Nope. A floor. Spiders. Nope. Acelomates. Acelomates. No points. Satsuma. Identify the cells that are the most common kind of vertebrate connective tissue. These cells are flat, have an irregular shape, and secrete structurally strong proteins into the spaces between the cells. Osteoblasts. Try again. Osteocytes. Try again. Irregular muscle tissue. Try again. Neurological cells. Nope. Murphy. Intervertebral disc. No. LaFleur. Bacteria. No. Fibroblasts. All right. Time for a first toss up of the match. So, everybody, hands on your buzzers, please. It's a sports question. In the men's 400 meter individual medley at the 2020 Summer Olympics, this swimmer closed strongly to win the silver medal in a time of 4.10.28. He outtouched bronze medalist Brandon Smith by one tenth of a second. Give me the last name of the swimmer Murphy. Fink. No. LaFleur or Satsuma? Satsuma. Callix. No. LaFleur. Williams? No, Jay Litherland was what I needed. No points. Topic is literature. To the floor. In the short story titled The Stockbroker's Clerk by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, two dangerous criminals who were brothers attempted to rob a great stockbroking firm in London. Tell how many people died in this failed robbery attempt. Zero. Try again. Eight. Try again. Two. Try again. Four. Nope. Teams wait for the buzzer. Murphy buzzed in early. Satsuma. Five. No. Murphy. One. One. That's right. One person. One point. Murphy. In the short story titled A Visit to Grandpa's by Dylan Thomas, give the first name of the tailor who rode his bicycle through town ringing the bell as he led others in their search for the narrator's grandfather. Walters. Try again. Um, Pri Priscilla? Try again. John? Try again. William? Nope. Satsuma? Dan? Dan is the right answer. One point. Satsuma, in the short story titled On the Makaloa Mat by Jack London, identify the one object the prince threw to Bella as he stood on the deck of a ship which was leaving the harbor on its way to Honolulu. Lay? That's correct, four points. Okay, time for math. And everything changes in math. It's a 60 second question instead of 15 second question. And everybody gets a copy of every question for possible bonus points. But the first question goes exclusively to LaFleur for one minute. So everyone open your yellow math envelopes, please. The smallest of three consecutive odd integers, when multiplied by three, yields a number that is three greater than twice the largest of the three integers. What is the middle number of the three odd integers? We have a minute left. Three. One. Try again. Five. Try again. Thirteen. Yes, thirteen is correct. One Thank point. You. Very good. Next math question goes to Murphy. Everyone open your red math envelopes. Two numbers have a ratio of three to five. If the difference between the two numbers is 72, find the larger of the two numbers.
30 seconds left for Murphy. Ten seconds. One sixty five. Try again. One seventy. Try again. One seventy five. Try again. Six. No. Nope. Wait for the buzzer if you'd like to answer. <laughs> there you go. Satsuma. One hundred eighty four. Sorry, LaFleur. One fourteen. No. One hundred eighty. Next math question goes to Satsuma. Everyone open your blue math envelopes. The two lines represented by the equations. 2x minus 3y equals negative 13, and 5x plus 2y equals negative 4 intersect at the point A, B. Find the value of A plus B. Thirty seconds left. Ten seconds. Try again. Four. Nope. Murphy. 16. No. The floor. Three. One. The answer was one. There's no points on that. Okay. 15 second questions are back. Topic is Shakespeare this time. To the floor now. In Act 3 of Measure for Measure, Lucio suggests that another character was not born normally, but maybe the offspring of a sea maid or the spawn of two stock fishes. Give this character's name. Charlie. Try again. Paul. Try again. Mark. Nope. Satsuma. Claudio. No. Murphy. Uh, Borlu. Angelo. Just Lord Angelo. Murphy. In Act Three of A Midsummer Night's Dream, Bottom is abandoned by his frightened fellow players and begins to sing prove that he is not afraid. As soon as he finishes, he is asked for an encore. Name the character who makes this request. Titania? Sorry. Satsuma or Lafleur? Mother? No. Puck? No. Now, Murphy, repeat your last answer. Titania? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Satsuma, your question. In Act 3 of Richard III, Sir William Catesby raises the possibility of Richard's becoming king with another character. In an example of foreshadowing, the character replies, quote, I'll have this crown of mine cut from my shoulders before I see the crown so foul misplaced. Name the character. Rackenbury? Try again. The floor or Murphy? Murphy. Banks? No. The floor? No. It was Lord Hastings or the Lord Chamberlain. Any one of those. Geography. To the floor. Sharing land boundaries with eight other states. These two states also have a shared land boundary, and each state has a major port city on the Mississippi River. Name these two states. Mississippi and Alabama. No. Try again. 
Mississippi, and Louisiana. Try again. Murphy. Uh, Missouri and Tennessee. Yes, Missouri and Tennessee is correct. One point. All right, Murphy, here's your question in geography. Oshkosh and Fond du Lac are both located on the shores of this lake in Wisconsin. Name this lake. Michigan. Try again. Superior. Try again. Um. Nope. Satsuma. Shiro? No. LaFleur. No, it was Lake Winnebago. No points. Satsuma. Name the capital city of the Northwest Territories of Canada. Yellowknife. Correct. Four points. Yellowknife is right. Very good. Okay. We're halfway through the competition. The floor has one point. Murphy has seven. Satsuma's in the lead with 19. New Horizons Credit Union is a proud supporter of local nonprofits and education, including sponsoring the annual New Horizons Credit Union Scholarship. Visit newhcu.org to learn more about New Horizons Credit Union. We're going to start the second half of the competition with some brand new categories. It's in chemistry. Here's the question. Give the name of the anionic compound which forms coordinate covalent bonds to iron in the complex known as potassium hexacyanoferrate 2. Five seconds. Buzz in, no, yes. Nobody buzzed in, okay, it was cyanide. Cyanide. Murphy. Particular thermodynamic conditions chosen for substances when listing or comparing thermodynamic data are used to better compare reactions or to understand how changes in temperature of pressure affect the relative favorabilities of said reaction. Give the term used to describe the particular thermodynamic conditions that chemists utilize to meet this end, which includes running reactions at room temperature and a pressure of one atmosphere. Equilibrium? No. Let's see, Satsuma. Entropy? No. It's really well. The floor. No. Standard state. That's what I was looking for. Satsuma. Chemical reactions typically will absorb or release heat during their progress. The reaction of silicon dioxide and magnesium forms silicon and magnesium oxide and releases massive amounts of heat in the process. Give the thermodynamic term for a reaction that releases heat. Exothermic? Correct. Four points. Exothermic. Very good. Topic is art history. To the floor. This style made famous by artists such as Georges Braque was named inadvertently by art critic Louis Boussale when he made comments about exhibitions in 1908 and 1909. Name the style he described as bizarre and eccentric. Abstract? Try again. Murphy. Impressionism? No. Avant garde? No. Cubism. That was the correct answer. Murphy. In 1907, this artist painted the Demoiselle d'Avignon. This work is often described as the first cubist work. Give the last name of the artist who painted this work. Brack. Try again. Picasso. Yes, three points. Pablo Picasso. 
Satsuma. This artist's passion was the human form. In 1987, this grandson of a famous psychoanalyst was declared by critic Robert Hughes to be the greatest living realist painter. Give me the last name of this artist who shares it with his famous grandfather. Freud. Right, Lucian Freud. Very good, four points for Satsuma. Okay, time for team choice. You chose the topic you wanted to be quizzed on before the match. Four points for a correct answer, but the twist in team choices, there's only one answer per team. So teams, if I rule the original team's answer wrong, buzz in immediately, and you can get two points for a correct answer instead of just one. So the floor, you chose Shakespeare. One answer. In act three of King Lear, the disguised Kent sends a gentleman on a mission to join a gathering armed force. He assures the gentleman that he will find a certain person among the gathering force. Name that person. One answer. Philip? Sorry, Murphy or Murphy? Anthony? No, Satsuma. Tom Bedlam? Cordelia was the answer I needed. No points on that one. Okay. Murphy, you chose geography, Kansas, Colorado, New Mexico, and Texas all share a boundary with part of the panhandle of this state. Name this state. Oklahoma. Correct. Four points. Oklahoma is right. <laughs> Satsuma, you chose American history. One answer. Give the name of the country which future president William Taft was the civil governor of from 1901 to 1904. France. Sorry, Brazil. Murphy, the floor. Um, Murphy. Philippines. Philippines is right. Two points for Murphy. Okay, time for our second toss of the match. So everybody hands on your buzzers. The topic is literature. Again, as soon as you think you've heard enough to give me a correct answer, buzz in. In the short story titled Nairobi by Joyce Carol Oates, Oliver purchased a new outfit for Ginny before they went to meet his friends. Identify the specific type of fabric from which the navy blazer is made that Oliver purchased for Ginny. Satsuma. Velvet? No. Murphy. Silk? No. The floor. Fleece? No. Irish linen. <coughs> Made out of linen. No points. Back to a regular category. The topic is physics. And it's to the floor now. State the name given to physical quantity that describes how quickly the velocity of an object changes. Acceleration. Right. Four points. Very good. Murphy. State the name of devices that convert mechanical energy to electrical energy. Kinetic absorbers. Try again. Wires. Try again. Absorbers. No. Nope. Satsuma. Turbine. No. The no. floor. No. Something that turns mechanical energy to electrical, a generator. Just a generator. Satsuma, state the name of the wave property involving the bending of light as a result of light passing from one medium into another. Refraction? Yes, four points, refraction. Very good. Topic is American government to our home team. Give the name for a person who, like Thomas Jefferson, favors strong state governments and believes Congress should be able to exercise only its expressed powers and those implied powers absolutely necessary to carry out those expressed powers. Liberal? Try again. Murphy. Strict constructionist? Yes, that's right. One point. Strict constructionist. Murphy. 
Elected by the Senate from the majority party, this person will serve as the presiding officer of the Senate in the vice president's absence. Give the name for this person. President Pro Tempore. Yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. Fatsuma. Give the term for the process by which Congress, through its committees, checks to see that various agencies in the executive branch are working effectively and acting in line with the policies that Congress has set by law. That's right, four points, right. World history is next to LaFleur. Give the name of the European art style of the 1600s and early 1700s that was characterized by a grand, ornate design. This art style could be seen in elaborate palaces like Versailles. Five seconds. Humanism? Nope. Try again. Realism? Nope. See, Satsuma. Baroque. Baroque is correct. One point. Murphy. Give the name of the fighting that occurred in Spain between Spanish rebels as well as the British fought against Napoleon. Napoleon lost about 300,000 men during the conflict. Spanish Civil War? What was it again? Spanish Civil War? No, try again. War of Succession? French Spanish War? Anybody want to buzz in? Satsuma. Peninsular War? Peninsular War. Peninsular, right. All right, Satsuma, give the name of the first 10 amendments to the Constitution that protect basic rights such as freedom of speech, press, assembly, religion, etc. Bill of Rights? Absolutely. Four points for you. All right, we're down to the last question in today's contest. It was a math toss up. Everyone open your white math envelopes now. What is the largest value of P so that the following matrix, matrix has no inverse? 3P, negative 4, negative 3P. Thirty seconds left, team. The floor. Three. Tra nope. Murphy or Satsuma. Murphy. Six. No. Satsuma. Two. Two was the answer. No points on that. So today's score, LaFleur with five, Murphy with 21. Today's winner, Satsuma, with 41 points. Congratulations.